Welcome to e Bala Travel. We're Jenny and Kevin. We're two Mexican-Americans from Chicago looking for a home in Mexico. If you've been following our journey, you've seen that we've been traveling Mexico for all of 2021 so far, checking out different cities and exploring where we might want to stay and settle as far as having a new home. We've also had the opportunity to visit our heritage states, so where our parents are from, Zacatecas, Veracruz, and San Luis Potosí. So if you haven't seen those yet, be sure to check them out because we've got some really great information and stories to share with you. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you can continue this journey with us. We've got a really special vlog for you today, straight out of La Cuna de la Independencia in Dolores Hidalgo, Guanajuato. Each year on September 16th, Mexico and Mexicans all over the world celebrate Mexican Independence Day. Viva Mexico! With a very special grito, Viva Mexico, and all kinds of celebrations. This is going to be our first time celebrating La Independencia here in Mexico, and we're super excited to share this with you. La Lores Hidalgo is where the original grito happened in 1810. And it doesn't necessarily imply that that's the day that Mexico gained its independence from Spain. What do you mean? Today's the Mexican independence. Well, today's the day we celebrate the Mexican independence, but it's not the day that Mexico was free from Spain. What? So we've been living in a lie for 211 years? Not quite. Mexico officially gained its independence from Spain on September 27th, 1821. So why do we celebrate on September 16th? I don't know. Why? And now I'm confused. I was so excited for today, the 16th. Stay tuned to find out. The original Grito de la Independencia was given by Miguel Hidalgo on the very early morning of September 16th in the year 1810. But first, here's a little context as to what led to this very special Grito that we now celebrate today. After the conquest by Hernán Cortés, the Spanish created a caste system for people who lived in New Spain. There were the Spanish, who were directly from the Iberian Peninsula. There were the Criollos, which were people who were born on the American continent, but directly descendant of Spanish from the Iberian Peninsula. Then you have the Mestizos, which are a blend of Spanish and indigenous blood. At the very bottom of this caste system, they had the indigenous people and the black slaves that they had brought over from Africa. As you might guess, this caste system caused a lot of social turmoil. It was in 1808 when King Napoleon of France kidnapped the monarch of Spain and left New Spain without a ruling head. In combination of years of oppression and these uncertain times of who was going to rule New Spain with the French trying to take over, although they did kind of try to rule for three years, but Benito Juarez was like, no. Anyway, that's going to be a story for another time. In comes Miguel Hidalgo, who was a criollo himself and was very unsatisfied with this caste system as it had destroyed his entire family and livelihood. So he saw the opportunity to gather people and revolutionize for the independence of New Spain. He called upon Ignacio Allende, the Aldama brothers, Jose and Josefa Dominguez to conspire together and initiate this revolution for independence. Speaking of Josefa Dominguez, she plays a really important role in the independence, but we're gonna get to her later in Querétaro. This group of leaders was initially planning to revolt in December of that year, but when they were found out on September 15th, they decided it was now or never. That day, Jose Dominguez was arrested for conspiring against the government of Spain, so his wife Josefa sent a man on a horse to send a message to the town of Dolores and Miguel Hidalgo himself to warn them that they had been caught. That night is when Miguel Hidalgo decided that that would be the night they would initiate their revolt for independence. And hence, he called upon the pueblo with his gritos, uniting them and shouting, Viva la independencia! Viva Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe! He shouted for hours, gathering everyone outside La Parroquia de Nuestra Señora de Dolores to unite and start the revolution towards the independence of what today is Mexico. Hmm, that's all very cool, but I still don't understand why we celebrate the day the independence started versus the day that we actually won the independence. Probably because the independence itself was a little complicated. The movement began when Miguel Hidalgo united the criollos, the mestizos, the indigenous, and the slaves to fight against the ruling of Spain. But the fight lasted 11 years, and Miguel Hidalgo only lasted one. So a year after his death, in 1812, the town of Dolores began to honor him and his grito each year on September 15th 
around 11 p.m. to honor the grito that he gave starting that night into the hours and early morning of September 16th. And that's why we celebrate the evening of the 15th all the way through the 16th. In our research, it didn't exactly say this, but I would guess that they started that tradition to keep people united in the long fight for independence. And today, it's still celebrated as an event that unites people. We're not exactly celebrating the day that Mexico became free from Spain. We're celebrating the day the movement started and the movement that united people in this caste system who were being oppressed by the Spanish rule. Mexico signed its Declaration of Independence on September 27th, 1821 but Spain didn't recognize them as a nation until 1836. So as you can see, the actual date of independence is a little complicated. Plus, the Grito tradition has been around since before the independence was even gained. And it's stuck. It's continued to be celebrated and it's an opportunity for Mexicans to unite and share with the world how proud they are to be Mexican. To me, September 15th and 16th are much more about pride and unity. And now that we've had the opportunity to learn more about where this celebration comes from, I feel even more proud to get to celebrate it here in Dolores Hidalgo, Guanajuato. And that's why we chose to celebrate La Independencia de México here in La Cuna de la Independencia, Dolores Hidalgo. That's the very church where Miguel Hidalgo gave that first grito to the pueblo. Every year on September 15th, the town of Dolores Hidalgo creates a simulation to represent the cavalry that arrived from Querétaro with the warning message to Miguel Hidalgo. Due to the pandemic, there was a lot of crowd control going on, so not many people could gather at the podium. But we got lucky and blended in with the news and media crew with our fancy camera. Viva Dolores Hidalgo, cuna de la independencia nacional. Viva! Viva Guanajuato! Viva! Viva México! Viva! Aquí, aquí nació México. Muchas gracias. Disguised as media crew, we got front row seats in the inauguration of the replica bell that was used in the original Grito. The bell is a replica of the one that Miguel Hidalgo used to get the people together here at their church. And it's so cool that we got the opportunity to see Querétaro gift this to the state of Guanajuato to have as a replica. The original one is in La Ciudad de México. Uh, I don't know why, but hey, maybe someday we'll find out and give you that story. And we got rained out. So what do we do now? Viva Mexico. We didn't come all the way over here to just hang out in the hotel room. Oh yeah, we went outside in the rain. Luckily, the rain subsided and we were able to watch the ceremony. Thank <laughs> you.
So how was that for your first uh, Mexican independence experience in Mexico? Oh, it's in the, is this an interview? Where's the microphone? Oh, here's the mic. You? Yeah. You hear that? There are people singing. Like, and it's pouring out here. And it's... there's people here cheering and happy and just celebrating how good it is to be Mexican. I mean, what more do you want? Hopefully, we get an opportunity to come back because we want it to be we wanted the full experience. The full experience, yeah. Yeah, not just because it was raining, but because of the pandemic. So I'm sure that this could have been way bigger than it was, but we're thankful we got to experience something. Anyway, maybe we'll be, I'll be back next year. Or maybe we can go to Mexico City. It's bigger there. But I feel super lucky that we got to experience our yeah, first absolutely. Independence Day in La Cuna de la Independencia. Absolutely. Bueno, se cuidan, se bañan, y nos vemos a la próxima. Oh. Chao. Viva México, cabrones. Viva México. Salud. Salud. Wait. Como que unos tacos, ¿no? Tacos. Vámonos.